Hi guys, it's Michelle here, and I wanted to share a, a little baby folio that I made. Um, I wanted to start out with, though, thanking you guys um, for subscribing to my channel. I know I've been out for quite a while. I did have hip surgery, and then I got the flu, so it took me a little while to get going again. Um, so I started out just with something a little small just to try and get myself back in the groove again and I used I don't have any left I had some leftover uh, baby uh, paper from or baby boy paper from Maja designs so I used it and um, like I said it's just a little portfolio I did do my fabric cover on the front and the back um, I didn't sew around the edges. I seem to be having trouble with my sewing machine, which is, I'm sure, it's user problems. So I have a cutout on the front and just layered some of the paper. And I have um, some little flowers here and some little daisies around the corners. And it does have a, um, a, t a ribbon tie closure. And the spine, if you've seen any of my other fabric albums with the curved, um, it's just a chipboard um, spine. Okay, now when we open it up, the front cover here, see if I can keep everything in frame, we have a little pocket with a tag, some little die cuts here and here and then I use the cut apart from the paper and this front tab is or the front flap is an envelope that I used and then I used another die cut and of course you can put um, photos and such up underneath here on this side here I have some little cutouts little stars and clouds and then the top flips down, room for photos here, and then the same thing, this top flips up, and then both of these pages flip down, flip up, and I made a little belly band with the little cut apart onesies. I didn't have a lot of this paper left, so for my photo mats, I just have some colored cardstock. We have some 5x7, 4x6, and 3x5 photo mats here. And this is held together with a magnet. On this side, I have a couple of flaps, and each one of them has a tag. And then I add some more of the die cuts. And these both flip out. And I left a little circle here where you can like slide a photo up underneath. Here, here. And then I made a couple of pockets, some larger pockets with a bunch of little cut aparts on it. with some photo mats and then this one has some larger five by seven photo mats like i said it was just to try and it's something easy try and get me back in the groove of things since i've been out for so long i am about to start on a um a wedding album um i have thought about redoing this little thing keeps coming off I have to glue that back down. I have thought about redoing this one and um, for a little baby girl. Let me get the paper. I have this <clears throat> Prima Marketing Heaven Scent, which are probably a lot more of y'all have. So I was thinking about next either making um, a folio for a baby girl and if y'all want to see that, I also have the little ephemera that comes with it. If y'all want to see the baby girl folio, a tutorial for that, please just leave me a comment below. 
and um, I'll be happy to show you guys that. Um, another thing I'm really excited about is my while I was sick and for Christmas, my husband made me. He redid my uh, craft room with some countertops and little cubbies and such. I'm gonna try and take this off without getting you guys too. Busy. Let me see if I can zoom. Whoops. Sorry, Lee. Wrong way. Alright. This table here, I already had with all my little cubbies. So he extended it. Yeah, there's all my... Yeah, I got a lot of junk. So, so uh, he extended the countertop throughout the whole room. And he, ha we f he found these little cubbies... And um, they're just made for freestanding, but he put them as the bottom support or part of the bottom support for my new countertop. And it wraps around my room. There's my vagabond, my cricket. And uh, I really, really like it. I thought it was sweet that he did this for me. And then I have some storage shelves. For all of my paper. And then the other neat thing that he got me was a little holder for my sewing machine. I've got my regular sewing machine, my We Are Memory Keeper sewing machine, and my uh, Cricut and such down there. And it's on wheels, and I just kind of cart it around. Cart it around. So that is my new craft room I wanted to share. And like I said, if you ladies want to see anything new for me to make, just uh, send me a message. Bye-bye.